The reason why they don't do so well is because we don't expect them to do well. We don't even offer them the classes that allow them the opportunity to do well. Even the playing field. That's what hundreds of parents, teachers, and community leaders are trying to do with Buffalo's public schools and beyond. A recent report shows students of color are missing out on important courses that could better prepare them for the future. News Force Jen Schantz explains what's being done at the district level to change that. Jen? Well, Christy, that report published by the Education Trust was statewide, but it shows similar opportunity gaps exist here in the Queen City. Today, parent groups and lawmakers announced a new strategy at the state level to make sure every student is offered the same types of courses. Assemblymember Crystal People-Stokes was joined today by members of the District Parent Coordinating Council, the Buffalo Urban League, and Buffalo Public Schools. She announced her support for this new program, which is more an approach to education than a specific policy change. It aims to make sure every student at every level is offered the same advanced level courses necessary for a successful future. A rep from Buffalo Public Schools was also there today. They announced more AP classes will be available in high schools. More advanced courses will also be available from middle schools and early childhood education centers within BPS. What it basically is doing is saying to school districts that you cannot decide that you are not going to offer the top of the line education to black and brown students based on what you think they're abilities are. And allowing us to be able to take these steps allows for our scholars and our youth to make better decisions in what they're going to do, not just today, but also for tomorrow. That plan, called the 5 by 2025 plan, focuses on all students entering the sixth grade this fall. Supporters hope the plan is implemented in districts through